Okay, so having installed the Orbisius Child Theme Creator plugin, you'll notice in the dashboard on the left hand side here we've got two extra items the, th the theme creator and the theme editor. So if we, um, if we click on the theme creator, um, I've already got that open here in another tab, um, we'll be presented with this screen where we, we, we have available all the themes that are in, uh, available in this installation. And these are the default WordPress themes and this is the Divi theme. Um, okay and so what I'm going to do is create a child theme from the from the Divi theme here and I'm going to tick these boxes as well just to make my um, um, life a bit easier and also to show you what's uh, possible particularly with this la last one here. So uh, if we want to customize the title and description of, um, of the blog then we can and that overwrites the settings in the parent theme um, clearly. So, But I'm just going to leave these as they are but I just wanted to show you that they're available there. We do want to create a blank functions file probably if your web designer has um, has or in, intends to make changes to that file and we'll need to make copies of some other files as well as we'll see. So anyway um, in a moment we'll, we'll create the child theme but just before we do that Let's just go and review what the um, support forum said about a child theme. And that is that a child theme consists of at least one directory, the child theme directory, and two files, styles, CSS, and functions PHP. So here you can see um, a directory, a styles, and a functions. That's the minimum required for a child theme, as, as uh, you can see in this graphic on the right hand side here. So what I want to do before we create a child theme is show you the existing file structure. And so I've logged into my site, control panel, and the file manager there. Um, okay, just to, uh, to show you the structure. And I'll just go up a little bit here. Okay, so in the public HTML directory of a standard WordPress installation, you've got your WP content here. Clicking on that, themes folder, and these are the themes that are uh, available, installed. Um, so Divi at the top there, um, the child theme that already exists, that's, uh, that's this one, yep, and, uh, and then the standard files as well. So when we create a child theme, there'll be another folder here that kind of looks a bit like this one. Um, as you can see, I've added a couple of extras. Um, into this folder, um, and but the basics are the functions PHP file and the styles.css file. And the other thing that I might um, point out is that you may see that I've got this screenshot here, because when we create a child theme, we also want to create this image. As you can see, each of the themes have an image, and that image is basically the file that is called screenshot.jpg. So what I did was I copied the original Divi screen um, screenshot file there and I'll just view that to show you. That's the D, as you can see, that's that D there. Um, and edited it to create a new file which has um, one of the South Sea Artisans pieces of jewellery overlaid onto the Divi D. So that then becomes, uh, and I've called it um, screenshot.jpg there, as you can see. And so um, that file becomes the, um, the visible thumbnail, if you like. It's a rather big thumbnail, but that's, and that just makes the whole thing look a bit more professional. So you'll need some kind of draft graphics program to create that. Okay, so now that we know what's going to happen, we're ready to actually create a child theme.